hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel hi um today i want to show you how i detangle my hair i've had this hair in for like two weeks and i detangle my hair always on dry i never wet it while i'm detangling and i'm gonna need a couple of things so how i'll be needing my white tooth comb and this hair clips right here to assist me and when i'm done i'm going to use this for softening so i've already unraveled my twist i had my twist in for two weeks and because of that i because i knew i was going to wash it i already like you know, unraveled it a little bit yesterday so today i'm just going to it's going to be easy for me to do so i've unraveled this one twist right here then i'm just going to run my fingers through it basically i'm running my fingers through it i'm using this mirror for assistance and i'm just you know doing that so a little bit background on my hair hair story hair journey i've been natural for five years now i know my hair is really short <laughs> for five years but uh two years ago just about the three year mark of my hair I text laxed my hair. That's like using a mild relaxer and it was quick in and out, 15 minutes, within 15 minutes, I was already done in rinsing it out. So my hair wasn't, it didn't really get processed that much. But however, it did what I wanted it to do. Whenever I'm washing it in the shower, it's softer, it falls down, and I just loved that. But then I got pregnant and I gave birth and my hair started shedding. I don't know if it's because of the postpartum or because, you know, my Tex-Mex texture just got weaker or something. I, re I really can't figure out why my hair started falling out. Whenever I'm running my hair through my hair like this, the Tex-Mex um, ends will already be falling out. So I decided to cut it just two months ago or so. So th it's been, this is, you know, the new growth that was there. This is like two years worth of hair. And yeah, it's not really that long, but I think it's something. <laughs> my hair was, used to reach like here before. Oh my gosh, I really miss it, but you know, it's, it's just beneficial to cut off um weekends so that your hair can grow longer and within i think that within two years my hair is going to reach that stage again so this is me running my hands through my hair and it's shedding i don't know i guess uh hair sheds normally but i'm really being gentle gentle enough so just you know loosen up all the coils and to separate them you know most people say that you can detangle your hair in the shower with a conditioner on your hair but i realized that for me when i you know when i get in the shower and i'm and I want to detangle, my hair is already locked in. That, that water locks in my hair. Nothing can get through. My hands cannot get through. My, no comb, no conditioner is gonna soften it enough for me. So that's why I have to do this before I get in the shower. And my hair, most of it is very thin. Just around the spirometer is, you know, is uh, thick. Most just the majority of all this part, my crown, my middle, everywhere, it's just really, really, you know, it's thin hair, even though it's full, it is thin. So, water breaks it a lot, and I don't know, water just locks my hair, I can't detangle it, so I have to do this before shower. And it took me a long, long time to figure that out, you know, I would dread hair wash this so much because i know that after washing i have to come out of the shower and detangle with a deep conditioner and that would take so much time but now things are different you see i've just come through it and it's really 
my fingers are going through it like isn't that wonderful and i get in the shower and it, it keeps being on um detangled wow like that's one thing that amazes me that i can wash my hair now and it's just one step i don't have to come out of the shower again and go back in so the first thing i do is of course make sure that i use this kiwi um i think this is so free free detangler i detangle with this conditioner and i mean i, I just put it in after the detangling to soften my hair and then once i get in the shower i rinse it out i shampoo i did condition right in the same in, in the same uh, moment shampoo did condition and then i'm out within an hour my hair is already done been washed and i'm just amazed i don't do the extra you know with deep conditioning with heat and all that i just use the heat from the shower to do that and it works for me because my deep conditioner is very 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 strong i'm going to show you what product i'm going to use and, um detangle in this second section this takes a while though that's the thing it takes a while and of course my hair is falling uh everyone's hair uh sheds that's normal just like when you comb your hair every day it sheds so hours you know because you haven't combed your hair for long you see more shed so this is combed and detangled and i'm just gonna put that away and move on to the next one so you get the drill it's really i, I really have to do this before i get in the shower And my hair isn't my hair length isn't all that bad for two years i don't know this ends up looking like i didn't um maybe there's some text marks um text box length still left i'm not sure really because my hair really didn't look all that different it was still looking you know um looking natural and when it dries everything shrinks up it does, there's no difference when it dries but when it's wet and i'm in the shower that's the only time you see that oh okay this is kind of different but but dry it's there really isn't any difference and i was really contemplating you know text waxing it a, a, a little bit more maybe i i rinsed it out too fast that day because i really wanted my head to be soft but not too processed i mean soft when it's dry but it wasn't really soft when it's dry, it's just soft when it's wet. Which was perfect for me. Getting my hair soft when it's wet gave me uh, ways to manage my hair better in the shower. So it was during this, my text box two years period, that I learned to detangle my hair before getting in the shower. And, you know, because of that lengthening and softness i could detangle um i could uh detangle outside the shower and then wash my hair and shampoo my and uh deep condition at the same time and that was like wow <laughs> i mean as I'm, I'm a mom now my my son is like nine months now and since i gave birth i've just you know had very little time I can't use, I can't, you know, take a wash day or whole wash day anymore. I have to maximize, maximize my time. So just spending all that time trying to wash my hair and make my hair, it's just not possible for me anymore. So I'm running my fingers through the section. Anyway, I, I try not to worry about, you know, hair, hair type or color pattern. It's just how, how can I manage my hair? That, that's what I really, you know, that's what I'm concerned about. How manageable is my hair for me? If, if I can shorten a wash day, then perfect. <laughs> I don't want to spend all the, I used to envy those girls with like three hair 
and I will see them like you know do everything one step in the shower um, the tango wash shampoo deep condition and I used to be so like wow I wish I could do that and now I can <laughs> now I can and I'm so so happy about that so just combing this stuff on the tip and then you make your way up so of course at the end of this i'm going to divide my hair off into four sections and i'll be washing it in four sections so i'll wash and it's funny how i wash my hair because again i'm trying to save time <laughs> i i you know go for one section i rinse out the conditioner the softening conditioner and then i shampoo and then I rinse out and then I put my deep conditioner right on that spot before I move to the next section. That's how I wash my hair. And it's really been saving me time. Within an hour, I use one hour in the shower, maybe an hour, 10 minutes, 10 minutes or something. But not more than an hour really. Just about an hour. And I'm done, I'm out. And then, of course, you have to move on to actually making the hair, which is another, it takes another two hours for me to make my hair. I really do see, you know, making my hair as a workout. Because <laughs> your, your ends are always up in the sky. It's like, whew. I, I try to eat before I wash my hair because. By the time I'm done in that shower, I'm already tired. <laughs> so yeah, I try to eat. And I did cut my hair myself. I just you know, took a scissors and snipped. I didn't go to a salon or anything. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good idea, but I did it anyway, so. And I really wish that I recorded me actually cutting my hair, but I did not. And this is what we have now. This is what we're working with. So I'm just going to comb this out, starting from the tip. And then making my way up. And there isn't that much resistance because I've already detangled. I'm detangling this back section now. Maybe you guys can see this place better now. And just running my fingers through. One thing to note though, I do moisturize my hair like every two to three days. So my hands are really oily because I've been moisturizing frequently with a leave-in conditioner and an and oil. So a moisturized hair will be much easier to detangle than a very very dry hair if my hair was like really dry the way my fingers are going through it, it will be you know will be will not it won't be that easy so always make sure that you moisturize your hair every two to three days or if it's more often then fine uh and another thing to note is that i don't unravel my hair when i do my twists I never do that because you know I'm always wearing wigs, so I don't care for unraveling my hair. My hair is horsey, it would just you know get big and big, and I'm not really into that kind of style. I don't really wear my hair out. Although when when I was when my hair was longer, sometimes I would do that, just once in a while really, <laughs> just to feel feel my hair for myself to give it a breathing space. But most of the time I wear wigs because it's just more convenient and I don't really go anywhere anyway. I'm just at home with my son right now, so why should I be unraveling my hair just for it to shrink up and all that? For somebody who unravels their hair and you know wear their hair out unraveled, maybe the tangling will be different because you know once you unravel your hair it gets drier and you know. You have to keep refreshing. I just don't have time for all that. At least not right now, not at this stage. And like gentle with your hair. Just separate gently mm -hmm. to feel any knots. You just, you know, 
take your time to separate again shedding is normal breaking hair, your hair breaking is also not normal that's just tiny tiny pieces that come off your hair oh, that's such a fun story because when i first got into this country when i first came to this country I, my hair was waxed that was about six years ago and you know i didn't know how to take care of my my relaxed hair in this kind of temperature so i'm going to detangle the rest of my hair and then come back and show you guys what would happen so hi guys i'm back and i've detangled everything i've sectioned it into four and the next stage really for me is to pre-pull i only pre-pull with this conditioner this vo5 kiwi lime squeeze that's all i use sometimes i mix in oil but it's not really necessary for me so i'm just going to show you how i do that to soften up my hair it's gonna be messy and sometimes i i add a little bit of water but this thing is really you know it's watery enough that i don't really need that sometimes well, let's see if we're gonna need a little bit of water today or not my hair is already shrinking up Shrinkage is real. You can see that I'm running my fingers through it still, and it's still, uh, you know, going through it easily. I don't need to comb it again right now, but when I'm in the shower, washing, especially when um, when I'm deep conditioning, I comb it again. Yeah, this doesn't need water, really. I think I can feel that I have really thick hair. It does look thick to me. Thick and full. Oof. I always make sure that I stock up on this on this conditioner. This is just so soft. I think I got the idea from from a YouTuber too. And she prickles her hair with this. So she has a type 3 hair, but it works for me too. And I've been using it ever since. I got that idea from her. As you can see, this place is, it has um, much, uh, I don't know, the curl is different from this outer portion of my hair. So I think it's just normal to have different curl pattern on one head. And I make my hair like every, I wash my hair like every two weeks or so. Sometimes I stretch it for three weeks, it just depends. Feel free to sprint more water on yours if that's what you want. I really don't think that I need it. It's just gonna make you runny, you know? Because I have to cover it with a, with a shower cap. I have to cover it with a shower cap, so. And then it gets hot and then it gets runny. So that's why I don't, I don't add water to mine. So this part is done. Uh, let me show you guys again my cold pattern softer here different here just yeah all natural maybe i still need to trim my hair in one or two places i'm not sure but that'll be another day this is how long my hair is let me show you from different angles mm. Just uh, put that away and move to the next section. Mm. 
this is me that didn't go in the back section and you can see my curls here wow 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 <laughs> i wish my hair was like this all around my head but oof, i think everyone's nape the hair right there is always more coily for some reason wow And just to conclude this video, because I don't want this to be too long, I'm using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intense Intensive Hydration Shampoo and the Deep Conditioner. I, I don't use a conditioner except a ripple. I just wash and then deep condition because it's kind of like the same thing anyway. Conditioner, deep conditioner. It just, I like the smell of this and this is very very oh my gosh this deep conditioner is so it's so rich so creamy so and it's very good to use it in the shower because you know you, you put the water in there you, you make it drippy you know because <laughs> when I used to use it before when my hair was completely natural before I text Lax I would do, I would um, deep condition my hair outside of the shower and just comb and spray water, but that's not that it just makes me use too much, and it doesn't really work as much as being inside of the shower, you know, putting your hair under water, and oh gosh, it's just so good. This is about the only deep conditioner that I found that really works with my hair. I've tried a lot, of course, and I keep buying more just to try and see if okay does this meet my standard and then and of course it's also good to you know switch and change what you're using because your hair get used to one product too much it's not good so i buy other things but i always go back to this um shea moisture when economy line so that's about it for this video thank you thank you so much for tuning in and watching my detangle my detangling process just please subscribe and like this video if you want to keep seeing you know more of hair let me know down in the comments if you want to see how i wash my hair i can't really show it in the shower but i can like you know show something at the sink okay, so thank you all for watching until next time